coal is, is, is put into this building here. And then there's an underground conveyor that then takes it to the, uh, a, a storage building where all this, all this, this waste is sorted and graded. It then makes it up that, this conveyor belt where it's, it's crushed and ultimately makes it into the boiler building that's uh, behind us here. Pennsylvania is sort of ground zero for where coal has been mined for more than a hundred years. The material itself, as it sets, not only leaches into the water and the groundwater and the water wells of these communities, it also can catch on fire and spontaneously combust. If you look off behind me, you can see the discoloration, the pink in there. That's where it's already burned. This particular site would stay here if it wasn't for Bitcoin. What Bitcoin's done is it's given us an artificial market for our power. These power plants cannot just turn on and turn off at will. When power pricing's low, and it, or, it enables us to continue to produce. Instead of supplying power to the, gr to the grid, we supply it to our crypto operation. I think in a way, having the reclamation business and Bitcoin coupled, we're really taking what's a you know, new world, uh, you know, blockchain, crypto, uh, and using that to clean up what's a, you know, a, an old, old problem.